Here's Dwight Yoakam. When I met Minnie, I had uh, just experienced some controversy surrounding my uh, musical career, some things that I'd said, some overly candid statements I'd made about the music business. And Minnie was able then, uh, Minnie gave me a perspective on myself uh, and on the business and on life that I've not gotten from anyone else in my life. And uh, I'm indebted and I'm grateful to her for that and for the friendship and love that she gave me. And Dwight Yoakam, for those 50 dozen red roses, I ain't never saw that before in my life. Thank you. Thank you. And it's wonderful. Thank you, Dwight. The friendship that Minnie and I share is something that uh, it uh, is something that I'll carry with me always, and the love that she's given me uh, through that friendship, and her insight uh, and, and wisdom, and uh, the kindness she's shown me through that friendship is something that uh, I'll cherish always. I found out uh, uh, a couple of years after meeting Minnie that we shared uh, a favorite hymn. Uh, together and uh, I want to I want to play that for her I come to the garden alone all I do is still on the roses and the voice I hear Falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses and He walks with me and He talks with me. And the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing and he walks with me and he talks with me and he takes His own and the joy. I love you, Minnie.